see when this was was uh, was done. As Harry Owen previous collection on our snake. Oh, here look. Oh, 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 hey, Instagram, it's me, T from the Patterson's taking the train to the pet. I'm gonna read a poem from this book called uh, The Call: New and Resurrected Poems by uh, Harry Owen. Harry Owen's a South African poet. Uh, this is what he looked like. If you can, you know. Anyway, this uh. This is, uh, this is published by uh, the Poets Printery, East London. That's down the, well, our, whatever, down the way here. Hey, maybe I should get something published by them. I'll look into it. And this particular volume came out in uh, 2017. I got it from a, a book, uh, uh, a thing he had at the uh, National Arts Festival one year. I bought it from him and, uh, and a bunch of other, some, another, another book of his, you know. I read a lot of different stuff from a lot of different people. What can I tell you, right? So I'm here in uh, Rubeville, and I came across uh, a poem of his in this book, halfway in the book here, that I like. It's called, I'm going to read it to you. It's called Say Something. Say Something. About us, about scarcity, squalor, disease, about avarice, lust, and massacre about bloodshed, torture, crime, about celebrity, ignorance, and bling about politics. Say something about Syria, Libya, Afghanistan. Say something about Nairobi and a thousand other wretched places. Say something about war. Say something about sweatshops, jobs, and slavery, about poisoning, pollution, about fracking the Karoo, about obscene nonsense of sustainable growth, about things that waste and die, that we're killing along with ourselves, about China. Say something about elephant, rhino, and lion, about tiger, orangutan, Pogonin, condor, dolphin, and whale. Say something about the planet, our lovely, threatened globe. About me, about me, about ours, about us. Say something about sickness of the body, of the TV mind, of the right to speak out of the heart of the soul, about death, about death, about death. Say something about husbands and wives, daughters, about sisters, brothers, sons. Say something about corruption, about murder and rape, about loneliness, sorrow, wickedness, despair, Say something about gods and gullibility, about faith, about bigotry and sin, about daydreams and night terrors, the childish compulsion to believe. Then pause and say something. If you can whisper it about peace, about hope, about life, say something, something about them, about us. The same, we're the same, some honest, some decency, some light, some love. Not gods, not spirits, not heavens, not hells, but us, us alone, something, some thing that we are, speak it and speak it and speak it, speak us. That's from a South African poet, Harry Owen, from his, uh, well, I don't know if it's self-published, but anyway, that's from, he published, called The Cull, New and Resurrected Poem. Got it a while ago. Probably, I guess it came out in 2017. Maybe that's when I got it from the National Arts Festival. Hey, Ian! My man, my main man. Yeah, he did it. The, the mother city. <laughs> oh, look, I just read the poem. 
uh, because I'm here in Gabebu, and this is a this is a Sunday where I can do anything today. But because uh, like well, oh, Sundays and Saturdays I do anything. I, I spew. <laughs> Fridays is like a week wrap up of stuff that happened. Thursdays is like audio drama day. Oh, the best day of the week, audio drama. When I talk about audio drama, uh, Wednesdays is about uh, world stuff, world politics, global, whatever have you. Tuesdays is about usually about U.S. stuff politics or whatever it is. And Mondays is about me. So tomorrow I can talk about me. But today, uh, I just read a poem. Hope you hope you uh, got it because uh, I think it's an important poem. I thought it was important. Well, uh, anyway, what I'm starting to do also, uh, uh, hey, New York is checking in. Uh, Reggie. Reggie, my main man. One of my, dare I say, I better say it because uh, uh, one of my radio children is, is Reggie. Anyway, look, his thing. I've decided. Routine. I've got the routine now that I'll be here. Well, I got the routine. On Sundays, um, actually every day, I'm doing reading every day. I'm not reading, not reading to you, but I'm going back to my reading. This screen stuff, and yeah, I'll check the internet, but they're all saying the same stuff, and they com everybody's commenting on the same comments and on the same comments. And to me, it's all like, they would say, <coughs> here's a big word for you, redundant. <laughs> anyway, back to the point. So, I'm just I, I'm, I got because I got some books here, you know. My, I got books in in, in, in Baza. I, I got books all over the place. Some I haven't read. Some I do read periodically. So I'm gonna go and start reading every afternoon like that. Anyway, what, what, I don't need this anymore. This is my reading glasses. Actually, this is my wife's glass she used to, but don't matter. But it was my reading glass. But I gave it. To, don't worry about that part. So, so what I do is uh, I'm gonna read every day. Read something, something, something every day. Like I write every day too. No, I haven't been writing every day, but anyway, I got to get my routine right. Like here in uh, in, in Gubevo, just this morning. Okay, I woke up in blue light as usual. But then I started off. Uh, uh, the dog was missing yesterday. The dog was running. There was a, a cow being slaughtered. Something. It was a funeral. It was a cow being slaughtered. Something. So the dog disappeared, hanging with the other dogs because they know they can get some, you know, meat or whatever have you. So uh, I didn't see them last night. So I woke up this morning. And the dog was in the doghouse, chilled, you know. So every time I come out in the morning, dog got to get up because the dog walked with me, right? Got my little stick. Just a little stick. I'll show it to you some other time. And so we started walking. It's about 7 o'clock. And we walked, walked, the ding, that dog, what, that, he had out hard, it was, sat down, laid a land, right? And we got up, and walked, da, da, Hour and a half later, I'm back, you know. I had to visit my trees, my healing trees here in Gabevo. So did all that. That's my morning walk. This is interesting because it reminded me of when Limpete. Right before I left Limpete, I had this long walk, you know. And so walking in the morning is good for you. Well, it's good for me. I don't know about you. I don't know what's good for you. Y'all got some strange things that's good for y'all. So y'all do what you need to do. Now, then I just had my my, my apple. You know, I cut it up and like that. I had my, my macadamia and did the and that. And uh, now I'm talking to you. After I finish, it's it's kind of you know. It's like the, that season, it's, it, the wind blew a few days, right? And now it's going to rain because, you know, we're at that season where they got to land, the, 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 the soil's got to be ready for planting. You know, it's going it's to be, this is the growth season that's coming up, right? So usually I would go out and put my head, my feet in the, in the thing, but the ground is cold. And I'm a punk that way. I don't, hey, cold ground, sorry, cold anything. Everybody take these ice baths, knock yourselves out, ice yourself. The most ice I'll do is I'll get a basin of ice. <laughs> And put my face in it. That'll be my ice bath, right? Anyway, that's the point. So routine is, is happening now. And I have a really good routine because, like, uh, what's today? Sunday, yeah. So tomorrow morning, I go up early. I get to uh, the bars in time to hang out with the uh, with, 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 with my people's, the wisdoms, the Nibaza Society for the Age. You know, I give them, I give them like, Tai Chi and whatever. Classes in the morning, Monday, uh, Monday Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, when I'm finished with them, I run back here to Gubebo, right? Here. Uh, this is my chill spot. Come to my reading spot. My chill spot. Hanging out with the wifey. Let me tell you. The wifey's a... The, she's a, a, a bowl of fun. A, 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 a cauldron of fun. I used to... I, I just didn't finish reading a poet. I got like a poetry kind of... A cauldron of fun. You know? She's hilarious, right? Nobody knows that. Plus, she's anyway. I have fun with her. 
So then, 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 then when I go to the browser, I got a lot of work to do. I got stuff to do. But yeah, da, 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 of course, we're building this whole thing. This is the planning. This routine is going to get done, right? So for the next few until I get to New York, New York, I have another routine probably. That's the cat. The cat. The cat's the cat. You know what the cat's doing? He's trying to get my wife to feed her. The cat's feed all the time, you know? Anyway. Uh, so, uh, so every time my routine changes. So right now I'm in a good routine because between Gubero on the weekends and then the weekday in Dubaza, I get I got a lot of stuff to do in Dubaza. Then I'll be fine. If I get to New York, there'll be another routine. I'll come back, get back to this routine. I probably I'll probably visit I probably visit Ian at least a few days at the most five days six days, whatever it is. Then I'll find out next week because I'm going to buy my ticket to India. Next week, check in next week, and I'll, I'll tell you about that. And then in India, I get a whole other routine. It's interesting because uh, in India, I walk. Uh, I usually walk an uh, uh, I walk an hour a day. Well, hour and a half, really, because even in the, the bars, I walk up to old folks' place. Then I with them for like a half hour or forty minutes, whatever. Then I walk back. That's another half. Hour. So it's like an hour and a half. I walk every, every day. I walk hour and a half or work out after hour, hour and a half. What I need to do is start doing my floor exercise in the afternoon. Now it's going to get warmer, so I'll start doing my floor exercise in the afternoon. I got this little this stick that I, uh, a stick, this little stick, that I walk with the dog in the morning. And I realized in the India, I have a stick too. That's to beat the dogs off. Don't worry about that part. Anyway, so it's like you, you mirror your experiences and stuff like that, you know? And when I'm in the Vaza, I don't have to walk with a stick. And when I'm in New York, I don't have to, well, New York and Virginia, I don't have to walk with a stick. <laughs> See, it all, you know, routine. Get yourself a routine. Make sure it's something that's healthy for you, all right? Just a little advice from, uh, from you know, okay? Talk to you all later. Routine.